When it comes to the Battle of Gettysburg, uh, I, I don't know if you can find a more colorful figure involved with the battle than General Dan Sickles, who was the third corps commander of the Army of the Potomac. Uh, right now, I'm standing on the Trossel Farm. Uh, you can see the, the famous Trossel Barn behind me. And this was the spot where on July 2nd, Dan Sickles was wounded when a cannonball hit him in the dang leg and uh, nearly took it off, resulted in his amputation. And we have an artifact at the Gettysburg Museum of History that we are bringing right back here that is simply amazing. As I mentioned, I'm here at the Trosso Farm, and uh, every time I come to Gettysburg, I'm learning something new. And here's something that uh, Eric Dorr just pointed out to me, uh, and that is the the Cora Cannon. So this uh, this old Napoleon here has the name Cora written on it, and uh, why? Well, we don't know. Maybe the uh, the crew that that manned this piece uh, named their cannon. Maybe it was done post-war. Uh, hard to say. But uh, anyway, again, I said I'm here at the Trosso Farm, and this served as the field headquarters for General Dan Sickles. And uh, a few interesting things here. Uh, again, I, we've showed this in, in previous videos, but it's worth showing again. Uh, you can see some battle damage to the Trosso Barn up here. Uh, if we look off to our left, uh, there is a witness tree uh, that was here during the battle. And on July 2nd, well, Dan Sickles was somewhere over here on the other side of this barn and was sitting on his horse when a cannonball struck him in the leg and, uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, nearly took it off and uh, resulted in his amputation. Uh, so we're going to walk up here to the site uh, where approximately uh, Dan Sickles was wounded. So we're at the Trossel Farm on the Gettysburg Battlefield and uh, I'm holding a, a cane here and it has a really interesting inscription. It says presented to General Major General Daniel Sickles from P.D. Kildruff, January 8th, 1864. So uh, in, in 1863 during the battle General Sickles was approximately in this area when he was hit in the leg by a cannonball during the battle. Uh, that cannonball took his leg off almost. Um, what was left of it was amputated shortly thereafter. But um, this was presented to Sickles not too long after his wounding, you know, about six or seven months. And um, it was a, it, 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 it's not a gentleman's cane, like a walking stick that has a round top. This is an actual one that he would have used. I, I believe the intention was for him to use this with his amputated leg. Um, he ended up using crutches in most of the p photos that we see of him, including a really nice one that was taken right at this spot um, a few years after the battle. But um, really interesting piece you know it's got a, it's got an ivory top and the presentation is is, is here is is finely engraved beautiful piece and you know there's not much left of Dan S Daniel Sickles items you know there there's a few artifacts out there and we were recently very recently able to obtain this for the Gettysburg Museum of History you know a lot of people criticize General Sickles for his uh, his, his um, un unauthorized move out to the, to the peach orchard and um, you know, there's a lot of controversy around General Sickles, but I always remind people he did receive the Medal of Honor for gallantry at the Battle of Gettysburg, and I've seen his Medal of Honor. I know who has it. Um, it's in a private collection, and, and it literally says, presented to Major General Daniel E. Sickles for gallantry at Gettysburg, July 2nd, 1863. And um, so he got the Medal of Honor. But interesting artifact. Uh, I wanted to bring it out to his wounding spot. Um, I I'm assume this has never been out here before, but um, yeah, we just we just got it, and I had to bring it out. All 
Right. Now, uh, Dan Sickles, as I mentioned earlier, very colorful character and uh, continued to be a colorful character even after the Battle of Gettysburg. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and dodge back to the museum now and uh, take a, a look at a few other things associated with, uh, with good old Dan Sickles. Back at the Gettysburg Museum of History and I wanted to bring out a couple of very interesting photographs to go along with General Sickles' cane. And as I stated out at the Trostle Farm, this cane was given to him not too long after his wounding, um, probably as, as an actual um, useful cane instead of just a gentleman's walking stick. But as we can see in these later photographs, um, Sickles tended to use crutches because, um, you know, it, 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 was a, it was a pretty severe in, injury. He was starting to age. And, and this, this amazing photo was taken at Little Round Top in, I believe it was 1888. This is a, a large format photograph, very rare photograph. And you can see Sickles has crutches under this arm. So he, he's using crutches and he has another one that's, that you can see there. So he's, he's, he's uh, walking on a pair of crutches but what a, what an amazing photo I mean look, look at this photo I, I mean you have you have Chamberlain here you have Butterfield you have Longstreet Sickles and Carr um, just just an incredible photograph and it's so neat to see that in a large format now I'm gonna go over to the other photo I'm gonna walk over here now this again is is a large format photograph and this is taken actually out at the Trosel barn where we just were and uh, again you can see Sickles is walking with a pair of cr crutches this photo was taken a little bit before Th this was taken in 1886 I believe and again you, you see um, uh, Carr and Graham with him in this photograph but this was taken pretty much near the spot where he was wounded um, you know, on, on his crutches, but two very incredible photographs. And um, as I said, you know, it's always neat to see these photographs in large format. The details just come out on photographs like this, but Sickles Kane, we're very excited to get that. And, um, you know, it's one of our newer acquisitions at the museum.